we are back again on the self-powering uh, diesel heater project. Now, I have swapped out the uh, heat, uh, the air heat sinks, these uh, bad boys. I've taken them off. I've replaced them with water blocks, piped all the water blocks together, put the mobile vans, uh, radiators and water pumps at the front so we're drawn cool air through the water cooling system. This is the reservoir tank. The output from the thermal electric generators is attached to an MPPT controller thing. Wait, I'll bring you across. For all the people that were desperate for me to put in a MPPT uh, thing, box, controller, charge controller thing. So, output from DEGS, in there, this is connected to the battery. I will disconnect the power supply from the battery because it's keeping it charged at the moment. And then we will run purely on the battery power and any power that comes back from the TEG. And what else? Oh, the water pump for the cooling system. I'll attach the power supply and we'll be able to see the power draw from the uh, uh, pump and we'll see if it's uh, actually worth our while doing any of this uh, if we charge the batteries or if we have enough power to even run the water pump in its own system. Get back in there. And once we've tested it with the MPPT controller, I'll plug it back into the buck converter and stick a few bulbs on and we'll see how many bulbs we can get to light because I don't have a variable load yet, maybe ever. We'll just add bulbs to see how much power we can get out of it before it turns off. Uh, so, without further ado, I shall fire up and bring you back once it's doing anything and we'll have a look at the MPPT controller to see what it's uh, displaying. Right, let's do that. We have achieved uh, charging. So you can see on the display it says well, the solar panels are putting charge into the battery. By solar panels it means our TEG modules. Uh, we just need to wait for the display to uh, tick back round to the numbers that we want. I, I, I should read the instructions, I have no idea what 117 and 2N mean. Not that it's important in this situation, I don't think. So, our current, we're putting in 14 volts, we've got 14 volts out the tags, and we're currently putting in 0 0.1 amps of charge, that is a 100 milliamps we are able to put into the batteries. 100 milliamps. Just uh, for note, the uh, water pump that is cooling them is currently consuming 420 milliamps. So we're still at a net loss. So 0 0.1 amps. Let me let me just do some quick maths for you. Calculator. P equals I times V. 14 times 0.1. Ooh, 1.4 watts. 1.4, 1 point, so even before when we were lighting up a 5 watt bulb, we were getting a better result. It is, oh my goodness, we're up to 0 0.2, did you see it flash at 0 0.2 amps? That's, oh, I mean, that. Oh, I, I can barely do the calculations. Uh, 14 times 0 0.2 is, ooh, 2.8 watts. Wow, we wow, 2.8 watts. So we still not got enough to run the water pump from this setup. Granted, it might be because, well, the solar panels are, would be a higher voltage than this. But the thing does say, as long as it's battery plus two, which we have achieved with the water cooling setup. Previously, without the water cooling, we couldn't go up to. I think the best we got was like 11 volts. So we're already we're up at 14 volts, which is better. Let me just uh, zoom out here until we talk about what we're going to do now. Right, so now, right, we've seen it running on the MPPTTT controller thing. What we'll do now is turn it off. What do we have to turn it off? Can I just wire it straight in? Yeah, I'm going to wire the output from the tags into the DC-DC uh, buck thing, boost uh, converter, and we'll see what the output on that is. Okay, hopefully you can see here we have one and a half bulbs which is interesting, and I uh, pulled the power of the heater down while I was doing it, so now I'm going to let it speed back up to full power. If you can see on display, we've got just under 9 volts of input and 14 volts of output, 
and we're all ready but now well 170 milliamps so hopefully now as it heats back up again we'll get to see the voltage come up and the uh, output come up as well okay if you pretend that I didn't connect two 12 volt bulbs in series instead of parallel I'll pretend I didn't connect two 12 volt bulbs in series instead of parallel and expect it to work so here we have two 12 volt bulbs and they are 5 watt bulbs each so according to this we are currently generating 8 watts of uh, usable power or half a milliamp at 14 volts what I need now is another bulb uh, ok I'll, I'll come back with another bulb right I have 3 bulbs ready I'm going to turn the thing on now and go we have three bulbs lit. We are generating 14 watts or just under one amp. Wait, can I bring you in to look at this properly? Please don't melt that. Okay. Uh, let's go over the thing. Input 10 and a bit volts, output 14.47 volts current 0 0.9 amps and generating 14 watts now well let's see if I've got another bulb we're starting to push it on the 501 bulb holders here though uh, I've, I must have another one surely so where are you still recording still recording right I've got this 20 watt bulb uh, let me turn it off and turn it back on again so 20 watts and go ah uh, it's just too much for it so 20 watts is too much. So some, we've got somewhere between 15 and 20 watts. Okay, let's let's turn this off now. Turn off, 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 off. Okay, it's still cooling off in the background and the extractor fan's still going. But what we've learned is, so with the three phenomenally expensive TEG modules on there and water cooling, we can get between 15 to 20 watts out of a supremely modified uh, heater uh, if you're new to this under there is the heater flattened sides modified to accept the coolant block or the water cooling blocks and the tags and then my pipe work uh, the bobble vans water cooler at the front of it sucking cold air through the radiators to cool the water down to cool the tag modules so you're like 300, 400 pounds worth of tag modules, another 50 pounds in water cooling blocks. I can't remember how much the bubble vans kit is, let's just call that 200 quid. Uh, modifying your heater to machining, welding, all those bits to get 15 watts of electricity. Uh, it's not, it's again, not economically viable. But it's not impossible what we're doing. Right, that you can shut the water pump up now. Go, shh, hush. There we go. Shh. Quiet, lovely. So our next test is to remove the phenomenally expensive uh, tag modules, send them back to other David so he can build his creation that he's creating. And we're going to put on the cheap tags. The ones that a few people commented and said, oh, you can get 30 watt tag modules for a couple of pounds each. <laughs> well, here they are. TGM 336 1.4-1.5. I've Googled this number several times and I can find absolutely no specifications whatsoever apart from the ones that are on AliExpress, Alibaba, etc. and all the sites selling them. I can't find a manufacturer that makes a TGM 336. I can't. I can find the, um, the manufacturer because I think they're Russian that use this um, code, but 336 doesn't exist on their website. So we're going to take the modules out of that here, replace them with these ones, and see what kind of output we get. So I'm going to go and do that. Hopefully I don't have to disassemble the hole here. If I have to drill new holes in the side of this thing, I will drill new holes to save me taking it all apart. But I'm going to do that, and then we'll come back 
and we'll test with the 30 watt TEG modules. Alrighty, this is quite interesting. So the new 30 watt TEG modules are installed and being cooled. Now I've got 5, 10, 15 watts of bulbs attached. Now watch this, oh I should say, um, we currently here have an out, the tags are outputting 37 volts at the moment. So they're a high voltage, well, a relatively high voltage compared to the other tag modules. I'm gonna turn them on. We're currently getting 15 watts, 15 and a half watts, just over one amp. And it runs out for about this long. Well, it's doing better than it did last time. It seems to be able to sustain it, there you go, for a little bit. So I'm curious now to connect this 30, 37, 38 volts into the MPPT controller. So I'm going to go and connect that just now. Okay, let me take you over to the MPPPD controller thing. Let go, tripod. So loads currently zero because there's no load attached to the load thing. That's in two n. I've no, I still don't know. Two n means. Come on, thing, get right round a bit. Input voltage 16 volts. Input current one amp. 1.1 amps. 1.1 amps. That's not terrible. Well, firstly, I would like to uh, apologise for well to all the people who I well. I didn't call you liars, but I don't know, I was sceptical about the power output of these cheap tags. And to be fair, they haven't output 30 watt. They're like, three of these did not make 90 watt of power. Granted, we didn't get perfect conditions. We didn't have 201 side and 30 and other. But we did get on par, if not slightly better output with these cheap tags than we did with the slightly larger phenomenally expensive ones so fucking yay so there are three tags in there and they were a lot higher voltage but i think we got like 12 uh, like 10 11 volts open circuit with the three of them heated but not under load which drops down to nine when it was under load these ones the cheap ones we got i think I saw 30, 37, 37 volts like open and then it would drop down to like 16 under load but we were able, able to extract one amp of power. We had one amp coming out of the MPPT controller which I think does better with a higher, it does better with higher voltages. It's able to control the charge better like we got one amp out of it as opposed to the 100 milliamps so that's Wait, it was it was literally ten times better with these cheap tags than it was with the really expensive ones. And well, there's a water pump going in the background. You can be quiet now. Go shh shh again with the shh. Ah, that's better. Uh, where was I? Right, yeah. So three cheap tags, modified heater body, uh, water cooler, etc., etc. One amp of output. Still not really going to work because we're still drawing half an amp from the water pump to cool the tags. But it does mean that if we got a lot of these cheap tags and built the exhaust thing again with, you know, hot gas going through one side, cold air coming through the other side, and a lot of these tags, we might be able to get actual some usable power for not a lot of money. Like, what did people see? Are these... With these tags and all, like, like under a fiver each, like a couple of pounds. Like, fuck, we could buy like 10 of them and build. Uh, another viewer sent me his plan design things, which kind of mimics um, other Davids where you have kind of aluminium tubes, but not quite like this setup. Like, imagine, imagine, I may have drawn a picture of it somewhere at some point. Tag modules, stack of a line of tag modules uh, inside a tube and then on each side you get a hot side and a cold side imagine all of that in a tube and then your hot exhaust gas goes over the hot side 
and your cold air intake comes back through on the under underside so you've got hot and a cold and they're being passively cooled and hit by the waste heat from the exhaust and the air intake you're also getting a slight benefit of preheating the combustion air as you draw it in and the, these these are if these are as cheap as I seem to remember they are then fuck we could build like we could actually build something I'll well need to order aluminium heat sink to build a thing out of but that's that's not out with the realms of my abilities so yeah we'll be coming back to this again with the cheap tags not in this particular setup and I've got the expensive tag modules need to send them all back to other David because he's going to build his creation he's currently milling and cutting and making and I'm excited to see uh, what it looks like once he's finished we will go the waste heat route we will go with tags exhaust heat intake air and see what we can build and then well we will compare have a comparatory uh, thing where we show both of them hopefully and uh, are able to show off not show off but like see if we can create some usable energy from the waste heat the actual exhaust waste heat from these heaters and i think that'll be quite interesting as always any questions comments suggestions all of those things etc etc put them in the comments bit or email me or facebook or whatever and i'll hopefully try to answer them or take your suggestions on board but for today i think well we've seen that the cheap tags are as good as the really expensive ones so we can switch to hopefully the cheaper and the rivers are slightly smaller as well which means that if you do a bigger version you'd get more of them but anyway uh questions comments etc down below email and that'll do it for today so thank you for watching